Okay, guys. Uh, not quite yet. Yeah. Later? No, not, not yet. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Thank Later. You. Okay. 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 We'll be back. Yeah, we'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. It is the morning of the second day, so Saturday. I'm still trying to wake up, as you might be able to tell. I uh, have gotten like dressed. I'll be wearing my merch, my hashtag card maker t-shirt today, and Lisa's actually going to wear the white version of it. Um, yeah, as far as my hair, I'm gonna go with second day hair because the waves are still kind of in there but I gotta fix it somehow so I could look like a hot mess today. On the agenda for today is once Lisa and I are ready, we're gonna run over to McDonald's so we can get like a fountain diet Coke. Um, it was kind of hard to find pop yesterday. We actually kept having to come back here to the room to get some and I need my diet Coke to wake up. And we're probably gonna go ahead and pick up just like a biscuit or something there for breakfast. And then we come back and because we've already registered, we don't have to go through that again. But some people who are only coming for Saturday will. And then I think there's another opening probably with prizes. Cross your fingers that Lisa and I win one. And then at nine o'clock we go to our class. And I think that goes all the way till 11 or 11.30 and we make four cards. And I think I mentioned it yesterday, but we found out that it is probably this leaf stencil set that we have seen on a lot of samples in their store here. And I'm like, where is it, where is it? I have to buy it. Well, I think we get it at the class and that's why there were so many samples using it. So I'm super excited for that. We did have to repack our bags because we left some stuff here yesterday that we would only need for the class just to make our bags lighter. After the class, we'll have lunch, and then Lisa and I are in team number one for Craft Olympics, and we go first, and we have to be ready at 12.50 up on the stage. I do not like to be on a stage, so hopefully I won't pass out or something, which after last night, when you see the little clips of me having to dance to YMCA because of my sister, I got close to the stage. So we'll have Craft Olympics and that is probably for an hour, but they have a, like two other sessions of it as well and we'll probably wanna watch, but we do only have two more make and takes to do out of the 10, so we got quite a few done yesterday. So we should have time to finish our last two make and takes and still watch some Craft Olympics. I believe that it ends at four o'clock today is the closing session and there'll be, you know, lots more prizes. Um, but that's it for now. I will uh, check up with you later when we get out of the hotel room and get started. After we got our biscuit and sodas, we went across the street to Quick Trip and got a couple large styrofoam cups filled with ice. Then we poured our pops into those cups and the styrofoam kept it cooler during the day and kept the cups from sweating. Highly recommend that. Now our little five minute trip to McDonald's ended up taking a quite a bit longer so we rushed right over to the convention center and then it was time for morning introductions and of course there were prizes. Now you saw in the intro that there were a couple guys super excited about Craft Olympics. One of those was Taylor's husband and the other is the general manager for Tailored Expressions. And they were the hosts for the event, which you'll see later. And they were super excited to get started, so it definitely made us look forward to it as well. After the morning prizes were given out, it was time for Lisa and I to head downstairs for our card class. Now this was an additional price on top of the convention, but it was so much fun and if you're going to do Stamp Joy, I would highly recommend taking it. We made four cards in the class and there were four different instructors, one for each card, and we did so many different techniques. We stamped, 
we stenciled, we used the mink for some foiling, we heat embossed, just great instructors, great time, and they thought of everything, it ran super smooth. And I was super surprised to see that the stencil and stamp combo in all of the samples from the little store upstairs was the free exclusive with the class. Super duper excited and I can't wait to use it more here at home. Now speaking of the products and the cards, on the last video in this series, vlog number four, I will be sharing everything I got in my swag bag, all of the purchases we bought at Stamp Joy, the free stuff we got, and then you'll also see in that video that we hit up a local scrapbook store before we go home, so I'll share with you what I got there as well. And speaking of the next video in this series, if you didn't already know, this is a series that I'm doing and this is the third video in it. If you want to see the first two, I do have my Stamp Joy playlist linked in that description box below. It has been tons of fun to revisit the weekend and I hope that you're enjoying these vlogs as well. After the card class, we headed back upstairs, ate our lunch, did one of our last two make and takes, and then it was time for Craft Olympics. Our team ended up being full of wonderful women, and we had such a great time together. Now, we did find out in class that these weren't necessarily crafting events like you know Lisa and I thought oh maybe you have to see how many things you can stamp in a minute or stuff like that it was just different little games using craft supplies for the first event you were given a bag of stamps and you had to stack them up as high as you could it was timed I think we ended up getting second place on this then I was up with a memory game they showed us a poster that had different crafting items in order and you had to set those out on your table just like the picture showed I did end up winning this one then the next one was you had to use oven mitts and you had to dig through a box of stamps and dies and only pull out the dies. This one we did win. The fourth event took three teammates. There were some Skittles on the table, a plastic cup, Two of the team members had little pickup sticks with the sticky stuff on the end, and one of them had tweezers. So our ladies were ingenious, and they decided that the two people on the sides would pick up the Skittles, and the one in the middle with the tweezers would knock them into the cup. And we won that event as well. The next event was probably the craziest. The person sitting at the table had to try to crank out die cuts and keep a balloon in the air, but they did have a helper that if the balloon hit the ground, they could go retrieve it for them. We didn't win this one, but I think we did pretty well, and I am glad I did not volunteer for it. It was crazy, but also a lot of fun. I definitely think that they saved the best event for last. Lisa and Larissa teamed up for this. Lisa wore a blindfold and there was a huge piece of white paper in front of her and a rainbow of inks and a rainbow of blender brushes. Larissa had to give her verbal instructions how to find the correct inks and the correct blender brushes and to draw a rainbow on that piece of paper. Not only did they work together so well, but that rainbow turned out pretty nice if you do ask me. Once our round was over, we decided to go downstairs for the design team member Q&A and they had a panel of Taylor and some of her design team members and we were able to ask questions. This was kind of just a small intimate event. It was nice to be able to get your questions answered and hear from each of the team members. And the last question that Taylor answered almost made us cry where she talked about where she sees the company in 10 years and what their goal is. After the panel, Lisa and I went upstairs and did our final make and take, and then it was time for a closing ceremony for the Craft Olympics, 
and for the event itself. You'll see here on screen that we ended up in a tie for second place. Our team name was Taylor's Teal Treasures. So they had a bonus event where they asked us, I think it was nine trivia questions, and it was based upon slides that were up on the screen on the first day. They all had to do with the Tailored Expressions Company. Now, while we gave it our best shot, we did end up in fourth place. We walked away with an exclusive stencil that had not been released yet, and I think a good friendship. This team of ladies here was a pleasure to compete with, and I'm so glad that Lisa and I signed up. After the final round of prizes, which <clears throat> neither Lisa or I won anything, but that's okay, Taylor gave a few more words and then brought all of the Tailored Expressions workers and the volunteers who had helped over the weekend up on stage. This group right here made the event such a wonderful time. Thank you so much to all of you. Well, it's bittersweet. We had tons of fun, but stamp joy is over. Um, yeah, we are. I think it's definitely a do-over, don't you think? Do again next year? Oh, do again, not yeah. a do-over. Yeah, do again. We'll do again, <laughs> yeah. Uh, tons of fun. If you have the chance, I would highly suggest going. I hope to do a little recap when I get home, kind of go over some more stuff. We did meet some um, gals that were fangirling over oh, Alicia. No, no, no. That was embarrassing. <laughs> Lisa is my best cheerleader. I am not kidding you. She's trying to tell everybody about my channel and sheet load, and I'm like, be quiet, be quiet. <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> yeah we had a blast it was nice to be out after you know almost two years of not doing anything yeah. so that was like the best yeah great times um until i don't know if this will be the outro but just in case until my next video i hope you're all having a crafty day bye bye that night from the hotel room, Lisa and I did a little live recap and Q&A. If you haven't seen that video yet, I will link it in the description box below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.